Raging Longlegs, Pseudoarachnia furiendis, Arachnorb family. Arachnorbs boast a wondrous biological composition, with a silicon-based exoskeleton and innards coated with malleable heavy metals. However, much about these creatures remains a mystery, as specimens regularly explode when they are dissected. These explosions produce scorching flames that completely melt all internal organs, leaving us with a disappointing lack of information on the inner workings of the species. We must await the development of new dissection processes and more specialized research before we can better understand this enigmatic creature. However, the following observation notes have been recorded. Appears to be leveling terrain for some unknown purpose. Location of eyes and ears not readily, readily apparent. Freezing a specimen may yield new research opportunities. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. Now, you might notice that we're still on day 16, and that is because I have yet to do all of the stuff that I wanted to do off screen, because I, I remembered that we did this sort of thing back in Pikmin 1, and I actually showed it. There were a couple days that I had to skip uh, in order to view some of the secrets or easter eggs, what have you, uh, that were available in the impact site on certain days. And I actually showed the quote-unquote off-screen work and montaged throughout it whenever I found something interesting. So I'm going to do that now. We're going to make this a bit of an interesting episode in that it's going to show or give a brief glimpse of what happens on every single or as far as I can see right now, without having to edit it, every single day. So, we're going to start by going into the Awakening Wood, since if you'll remember, I need to farm up Purple Pikmin. Because we need 100 to complete the game. So, that is what I'm going to be doing, now. Wait. Oh. I never cleared this out. Well, I'm not doing it now. Uh, one thing that I would like to make readily apparent is that I'm not going to be making any map progress in this episode, um, because that is going to be- that is going to wait for when I am here for good. Like, or when I'm- when I'm here to actually complete a new cave for the first time. I am not here for that right now. And so, I'm not going to be knocking anything down, building anything. I'm just going to be getting a bunch of mid- Just one? Come on, just one mid tight. Alright, apparently I'm not getting any. So, I came up with a new method to get the captains into the spray. That doesn't involve me having to push them awkwardly. If I just whistle them... Oh, that- that- that doesn't work. Okay, so they can't actually- get nectar while in my party. That's odd. And actually, probably evidence to support that <laughs> that this is a glitch. In retrospect, probably not the best cave to be farming purple Pikmin on. <laughs> it's interesting that they give me this little canal on the final floor of the Hole of Beasts to hide in. Almost like they expect you not not almost as if they expect you to not know entirely how to fight this thing and so they give you avenues so you don't just lose your entire party for no reason nice touch nice touch what there are there are no flowers in the white flower garden past the first visit. Really? That's... That's honestly kind of dumb. The The cave is called White Flower Garden. There should... It should be a garden, not a an oasis in the desert. That's... That's really sad. Well, I guess I can't farm in the Valley of... Or, or in the Awakening Wood at all.
Well, I'm not gonna lie. Day 16 was kind of a wash. I found out that the whole beast only gives four, per, or f sorry, five purple Pikmin, and the white flower garden doesn't give any. Which means I can't actually farm here. I have to leave. I have to go to the Valley of Repose, to the, the cave that, or subterranean complex, which is where I always farmed as a child. And I'm finding that there was a very good reason for me farming there as a child, because it is the best cave in the game to do so. So, I guess I'm ending the day. It's kind of sad. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my allowance doubled, and it's all thanks to my papa. After all, he's a great captain, but when in the world will he be able to come home, huh? I forgot you can actually wake these guys up without knocking off their fur. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad I recorded that. Oh, that's so good. Come on, come on, Preston. I didn't know that could happen. The 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 snitch bug picked up uh Olimar, right? Olimar, the president, I don't know. He picked up the president and swooped up underneath the bulb orb. That's so good. I've never seen that happen. This is where I'm running and not looking at where I'm going. Oh, did I make it? Okay, if this doesn't have purple, f it does. Three... And a couple of queen candy pot buds. Alright. I was gonna say, if this doesn't have... This floor doesn't have three... Um... Flowers on it, then... It's not worth it to farm. But I think it's still worth it. Although I may try the emergence cave a couple times. Because if that yields... I, I believe that runs three flower. It has two flowers on it. I know that, um, but it also has. It it'll dry up after two or three visits. So I might do that one. All right. Are there candy pop buds? There aren't. That's funny, I thought that they would last a couple of... of entries. Apparently they don't. It may be that after a certain number of days, they just turn off. Um, and that's entirely possible. So I guess the best cave for me to farm is indeed the subterranean complex. I'm sure glad they didn't cap that for the number of times you can get purples, or else I might, might not be able to get the doomsday apparatus. Straight through? Straight through. Oh boy. Oh! That Pikmin's dead. Unless! Unless! I get to the cave before the bomb that he hit stupidly goes off. Oh boy, that Pikmin was so dead. Now you might be wondering, why did you bring blue Pikmin down here? Well... I have been gleaning so much from my numbers, so many Pikmin from my numbers, that I'm, I don't want to say I'm running low, but it's, it's going to show real, very negative growth on my end of day stats, since I'm do, doing this all in one day. I thought I was going to be montaging throughout the 15, but no, I'm doing this all in one. And so I, would, I decided to split it among the three kinds of Pikmin, just to, to share the load a little bit. So, that is why. And I actually... I think I only have one more, uh, one more expedition left before I have 101 purples. I think at this moment I have 71, so I'm getting 15 each run. So yeah, two more expeditions, and then I'm, I'm golden. You know... I don't know why I haven't been doing this. I I do not need to go in here with 100 Pikmin. In fact, if I don't, then I'll gain Pikmin. 
I don't know why I haven't been thinking that. So if I go in with 80, I will come out with 100. I am dumb. I could have been doing this the whole time. This is a... This is an interesting layout. You see this? It's so much smaller than the other ones. And normally they have all these back pads, but this just has two areas separated by a bottleneck. That's... That's odd, and probably one of the the rarer ones, or just one I haven't bumped into thus far. See, after after this long of spelunking into the same cave over and over again, this is all I have left to cling to, is, is map layouts. Pretty soon I'm just going to go insane. I mean, I, I like grinding in video games, but... I almost want to say that I like grinding when it's the same thing over and over again, and this is not. This is the things I have to adapt to, but I know it's it's just a different assortment of the same things. First thing I thought it spawned three drinks in this area. I mean, I don't really mind it. I, I like playing Pikmin, but at the same time, I know how small of... I guess it's that. I... I I'm seeing how small of gains I'm getting every single time I go in here, you know. 15 purples, 20 whites, and I just, it just hurts because I, I'm going through 8 floors for 50 Pikmin. I'm not even gaining any numbers until I figured out that I can just do this, but uh, it, it really does hurt. But fortunately, and that's why I haven't cut away yet, this is the last floor I need to be on and then I'm done I'm I'm actually done I I can just skip the rest of the days I might farm some sprays here and there but for the most part I, I'm I'm finished I I have nothing left to do I can 100% the game now and anything I do is is of my own my own design not not the uh, required stuff for completing the game so I am done and it feels really good. Okay, let's get these purples. And, oh, avoid the spray. I need to pull off the, the trick. Not calling it a glitch. Please note that. Alright, so get the president over here. Uh, get these guys in the spray. Actually, save that for the time being. Because I'll have a bunch of 20 new Pikmin. Alright, so do this. And you can really see how... This much grinding has really, has, uh, refined my strategy. And now I, I can pull it off pretty easily without any concentration. Alright, let's make some more... Honestly, it doesn't even matter. I'm just gonna throw one and make sure that the other thing I get is not blue. So, red? Oh, that's... okay. Well. I mean, I was lower on blue anyway. Okay, let's wait for them to come up, and then I can leave here with 96 Pikmin. Man, that feels good. And actually, I'm not even halfway through the day, but I'm not going to dedicate any more, any more, t any more time or resources to completing the Valley of Repose, since, as I said, I am still grinding at this point, and I'm not going to be doing any progress while grinding. Now, one problem with what I'm doing here is that I'm doing the bare minimum of Purple Pikmin. Uh, if if I was doing this for my own, you know, private log, where I have as much time as I need to dedicate towards doing this, I would probably do this cave one more time, because as it stands, I have 101 Purple Pikmin. That, what? okay, that was weird. And that is not enough, because if I lose two, then I have to get more. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm lazy, I guess. Let's look at these numbers. 120, 130 whites and 101 purples. In fact, let's get a let's get a better look at that, shall we? I'll put all my Pikmin away and take out the beautiful 100 purples. And now I'm doing this because I I know I'm probably just going to be cutting out through the rest of the days. I'm not even going to be showing it. So this is essentially the end, although Future Pal may deem differently. All but one purple Pikmin. This is a beautiful sight. In fact, 
Let's go murder something with it. In, in the, the time that I, I... That I am wasting. Let's go murder s this, the, this family. Goodbye. <laughs> I can shake the earth forever. Alright. But let's kill this too. And get a nice... A nice intimate view here. Uh, let's... Get this. You know, I don't do this that often. I've never actually done this before. Let's kill it like this. Because this is, uh... Way more dramatic. Alright, that... That's enough. Now I can end the day and I'll, I'll farm sprays for the remaining uh, 13 days. And that'll be the end of it. This was, uh, this was a very productive day. 60 purples in one day. Uh, about 60 whites as well. That is... That is production. Or productivity, if I've ever heard it. <laughs> Look at those number drops of, of red, yellow, and blue Pikmin. And yet, you'll notice... I have not lost a single Pikmin today, but we have gained... Oh man, we have gained about 80 or 75 whites and um let's see 60 six exactly 60 i don't know why i need to do the math there 60 purples that is that is something to be proud of and spam i am so lonely i want a friend that'll listen to my troubles i want you to meet someone like i want to meet someone like you contact me at www.pikmin.com Uh, this was my first introduction to spam, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm just realizing that now. You want to know one of the coolest things about Pikmin? And as someone who normally points out sound effects in movies or video games and says, Oh, that's a stock uh, sound effect. It's actually open source. Or, oh, they made that sound effect for that that video game or movie. This sound effect that's reused, I actually like a lot. And I think it gives, a, it gives at least this area, a lot of it's allure for me. Listen to the cicadas. <laughs> you know where that sound effect was used? It was also used in Animal Crossing, Population Growing, you guessed it, for the cicadas. And so, regularly, when you're walking around in the evening, just, you know, just kind of enjoying the sights like you'd normally do in an actual evening in real life, and you're enjoying the sunset, and you're hearing those cicadas, you recognize them, both from Animal Crossing and from this. So whenever you're playing either, you just get this sense of familiarity, regardless of which one you're playing. And that carries over for the other Animal Crossing games as well. I think that's one of the reasons, which I wouldn't have found out unless I was grinding like this, that, uh, that I like this area so much. Oh no! That's not good! Oh boy! This day just got a lot more interesting. Come here! Come here! Onto this! Ah! Why did this happen? Come! Come! Come to this! This is not good! Um... I lost four Pikmin. I was not supposed to. Uh... President! You got me, buddy, right? Oh... Uh, uh, this is not supposed to happen today. Uh, actually, I think Olimar can handle this. I... Was not supposed to lose four Pikmin. Come here. Make this worth it for me. Oh boy, Ooh. The ground is kinda weird here. Jump again. Whoa! This Wallywog's a little bit crazy. And he's dead. You just ran under water. Okay, you're weird. Uh, let's see. Throw that there. Why did I do that? Um. Hooey! There we go. Let's just grab these Pikmin. There we go. That was, uh... That was a little bit awkward, I am not going to lie. And I shouldn't have lost four Pikmin there. Especially whites, but... 
Uh, it could not have been helped. So that was a weird circumstance. Eey, that one will go down in the record books. I think this will be the last batch until I can just start skipping ahead in days. That'll be nice. I, I'll admit, I've been recording for, I don't know, two hours? And I'm enjoying playing the game, especially because the weather in-game right now is matching the weather. There it is, 20. Is matching the weather in real life, but I, I, will, be, I will be happy to stop because it means I can start making real progress. And with 20 sprays, over 20 sprays of both kinds in my name, I, th I think I can be satisfied. Here. While I'm ending off this day, in which case, again, like I said, I'll be skipping ahead 10 days. I'm going to come here. Okay. I'm going to grab these guys. Just because they're there. They only give me one Pikmin apiece, but that's more than none. Go. Go. You have to... Pro it probably should be running. Okay, just to make sure I have no free Pikmin that I have forgotten about. The only ones are at the grass. All right. They should be fast enough, I think. I hope. Right? They're... They're really fast. I, yeah, they'll they'll make it. Okay. Let's just get this uh, nectar and call it a day. And call it a week, I guess. Okay, drink that up, please. There we go. Alright, and then let's make sure that they can make it. Oh yeah, they have, they have actually more than enough time. You go! You can do it! I guess it depends what onion they're bringing it to. No, they did it with moments to spare. Good job. Good job, team. And that is going to be it for this episode. I've done a lot of montaging, especially a lot of montaging, especially considering that I've only recorded two days, right? One in in Awakening Wood and one in the Valley, actually no, three. One in Awakening Wood, one in the Valley of Repose, and then one in the, um, the Perplexing Pool. So, I've done an awful lot of work for three days. I caught... I reached my goal in that amount of time. And to be honest, I do not want to grind anymore. Because any more grinding and the scenario of... of day 30 is drastically different from any other day that we've had thus far. Instead of you guys actually getting to see my progress, suddenly I cut ahead and I have like five to a thousand... 500 to a thousand of each kind of Pikmin and then 200 whites, 200 purples. And while I could do that, I do not have the mental fortitude to do so, and it really takes us out of the adventure. Whenever I play Pikmin, I try to kind of sell you guys on the realism, and that would be taking us out of it a little bit. So, starting next episode, I will be at day 30. I probably won't, ha won't have done anything in the remaining 10 days, so you could imagine that Olimar and uh, the president took some vacation time. And then, we will get our nose back to the grindstone, complete the, uh, the, uh, per, b, 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 Valley of Repose, Awakening Wood, Perplexing Pool, and then the Wistful Wild. One after another, there are four actual days left. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new days of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm also let's playing Luigi's Mansion Breath of the Wild. I'm just going to continue calling it that. And episodes of that come out every Monday and Wednesday, and it is an absolute blast. Alright, next time we're going to be doing some stuff in the Valley of Repose, finishing out giving it a proper farewell, and for now, Papa, I'm going to prep school. Mama said that if I don't study hard, I can't become a proper lady. Did I write a nice proper mail? <laughs> Do tell, Papa. Uh, that's, that's good. That's good and cute. All right, see you guys tomorrow, or 10 days from now, I guess. See ya! Really, he has a soldier's claymore on him? Voice crack? <laughs> as soon as I, I raise my the pitch of my voice, it's it sounds like I'm 13 again. Like, here, let me let me do it again. Oh my word! It's a thing. You ju you just do this and kill them, and you're fine. Oh boy. Speaking of which, do not do not eat anyone. 
Okay. It makes Dwarf Bulbors a lot more menacing when you realize...